Imagine having millions of devoted servants whose sole purpose is to keep you alive and healthy, making you their whole world. Wouldn't you be so beyond grateful for having them? Wouldn't you think to yourself or say to yourself, wow, how fortunate am I to have those? And in a sense, you would die without them. Now, let's apply this perspective to confidence, delving into the realms of science, because those people that I'm talking about are yourselves, that are tirelessly working for you, trying to sustain you and keeping you alive, no matter the circumstance, no matter the time or location. They are always by your side and they forever will be. I think sometimes we forget what a miracle it is to even be alive. The odds of being born are one in 400 trillion. Sure, there might be things that we dislike in our lives or things we are not happy with in the moment, but what a blessing it is to be breathing, to be alive and especially to be healthy. Let's circle back to ourselves, remembering all the cells, organs and body functions that are working for us daily. The least we can do is to appreciate them or be kind. Like seriously, how can you not be grateful for that? Because wouldn't you treat somebody that sacrifices their whole being to you at least with kindness? Jordan B. Peterson has a principle called treat yourself like somebody you are responsible for in his book 12 Rules for Life. And even though it's a short sentence, it holds immense value. Because think about how you support your friends or families or in general loved ones. If you see them struggling, trying to make ends meet, being stuck in a rut, wouldn't you go to them and say to them, I believe in you. You are resilient. You can overcome anything. You are stronger than this. And basically help them to get out of this rut instead of judging them. So why not show up the same way for yourself? Every day when you face a mirror, say to yourself, I love you. If these words are difficult initially, empower yourself with sentences like, I believe in you, you can do this. If empowerment is a challenge, at least be kind and acknowledge that you are trying. People often forget that everyone, including your teachers, your parents, celebrities, and obviously yourself, is navigating life for the first time, experiencing life for the first time. In this vast world, everybody is trying to find meaning and purpose. So obviously there will be times where things go wrong, where you fail, where you stumble and fall and you'll feel devastated. But reflect on all the challenges you've already overcome. And now look who is always by your side during those times of suffering and conquering. It has always been you and it will forever be you yes people might have helped but ultimately you took action step after step and lived through it therefore print out a picture of your younger self and stick it somewhere you'll see it often every time you feel like talking negatively about yourself i want you to look at that picture and remember that this little person is just trying to get by, trying to find its place in this world and find meaning and basically just survive. This is our first time navigating life, so don't be too hard on yourself. Accept that you won't have all the solutions at the right moments and that these challenges do make you stronger and more resilient and are actually essential for the journey of becoming. Oftentimes, people will give you the advice to fake it till you make it when it comes to confidence by simply trying to appear to be confident instead of making daily commitments to be more loving and encouraging toward yourself well 
The truth is, you will never achieve this so-called confidence without building a foundation first, without building trust within yourself. Because ultimately, that is what confidence boils down to, having trust in oneself and one's beliefs and capabilities. Being unbothered with what other people are saying because you know Deep within your core, the truth. It does not mean believing to be the best person in the room. Quite the opposite. You realize that everybody is imperfect and unique. Most importantly, you realize that despite all the odds, you are still deserving of all the things you dream about and all the things you desire and who you want to become. Remember, Confidence is silence and insecurity is loud. Building trust can be as simple as showing up every day. For instance, you could commit to reading a book in a month and implement the action to read 10 pages a day. Basically, the practice shows that you are willing to show up for yourself and what you set your mind to. This can be anything you want. Start small and gradually increase. One reason why many people are insecure is because they don't trust themselves. They make promises, tell themselves I'm going to do this, that and this and end up doing nothing. Imagine if somebody continuously makes promises to you but never keeps them. Wouldn't you think that that person isn't very trustworthy or at least not very reliable? However, it is important to differentiate between overestimating one's capabilities and simply being lazy. So start small and compare yourself to who you were yesterday and not who somebody is today i believe if more people would love themselves the world would be a way better place because a person that is content with themselves understands that there is enough for everybody and basically that everybody is trying so thank you for trying i believe in you and i am proud of you for embarking on the journey to self-love and you should be too oh and on a side note always remember every single day holds the power to change your life mm -hmm.